Hello and welcome everybody, it is me Black Country Wargaming and today I'm going to be showing you my painted tutorial for these Viking archers. So pretty much the same, we always start with building the entirety of the model and then I'll give it a grey spray paint. Then because you need to have a different variation of tone again in the archers, I have opted for a banshee brown for the tunics on half of the models that I'll be doing so I'm painting eight for this instance and then I've used also used Banshee Brown on any of the strappings that go around to their legs I then have used a Monster Brown so as you can see I've used Monster Brown on the trousers over here and I've also used it on the tunic and the trousers for this model here then go on to the charred brown so I wanted to give some of the archers dark brown hair and as you can see I've just done his hair I've done all the quivers for the arrows in this charred brown as well as well as boots as well as a holder for the dagger and then moving on to leather brown I paint the straps around the stomach and also the bow itself with the leather brown. Balthazar Gold, I've painted the dagger in Balthazar Gold just as you can see here and then I use Filthy Cape on the arrows. Next up I wash the entirety of the models in Agrax Earthshade and you just want to leave this to dry overnight just so as it seeps into the recesses. You need to be very liberal with this stage and then after it's dried I come in with a Bugman's Glow just putting it on all the skin areas. I then use Xandri Dust for any of the hair on the models that I want to be blonde and I also then dry, lightly dry brush a white grey on top of the arrow quivers. I do seem to have forgot to mention that I use a Reikland Flesh Shade Wash on any of the skin areas at this point here next but then it's just mainly going over the areas we've painted before so we use the monster brown on any of the brown tunics and then we use the banshee brown to go over any of the cream tunics then we use a cadian flesh tone to go over the skin areas and then the models are done so this is just some variations that I've showed you here you can use the variation in terms of shirts and trousers for my Viking painted tutorial if you wanted. They can be pretty much any colour but just make sure that they are not all uniform. They really do need to be individual more so than anything else. But I paint, how I did them was I painted them in batches of eight and I alternated between the tops and the trousers. So just alternating four with the same colour top and same colour trousers and then four different ones with the same colour trousers and different same colour top. Hope you've enjoyed it anyway, hope you followed it along easy enough and I shall see you in the next video.